Hi, this is Jonathan Kadish. I'm out here in Vernon, New Jersey. I am rehabbing a house out here. And while I'm out here doing that, I'm going to build my first aquaponics system. So what I'm building today is a small 4 cubic foot grow bed system with a 27 gallon aquarium attached to it. And uh, I've got some uh, EPMD. Uh, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, rubber liner coming out. Uh, it should be delivered today and we're going to put that in our grow bed uh, for the media where we're going to put hydrogen or some other form of grow media in there. I've got a lot of gravel around here so m maybe I'll be using that. Uh, anyhow, should be coming along soon. The UPS truck, hopefully I'll see it come down the road. Um, but we're going to get started by building out the box uh, for the grow bed. I've got some 1x12 by, uh, by pine that I'm going to cut up and make into that box. So let's get to it. So you might be asking why this is um, so small, only 4 cubic feet. Uh, well, it's going into uh, my apartment in New York City and I have a very small space that I can put it in. So I'm going to be marking the outside to 25 and a half inches. We're going to be making a cut there because the three quarter inch uh, thickness of the one by is going to add up to an extra inch and a half. So let's let's make that cut. Okay, now I'm going to cut the interior pieces. I should say the shorter pieces which are going to be 24 inches. Um, and those are going to butt up against the, uh, the end pieces. Okay, so I've cut my pieces. You can see that two are shorter than the others. That way I get my um, 24 by 24 interior. Okay, so we cut all the pieces for the boxes. Three of the sides are assembled, and just three of the corners anyway are assembled. And I'm just attaching the last corner here. And so here we have it. We have the finished grow bed here. As you can see, I put two pieces of pine on the bottom as well, and that'll help support the weight of the grow media. Additionally, underneath this, I'm going to build a base uh, in the uh, vertical direction. So I'll have a piece pieces going around. The outside of this that'll be about two inches that'll provide additional weight bearing load uh, capacity so now I'll get to building that so I built my load bearing uh, structure for underneath it's just a simple uh, little grid here it's gonna sit underneath the aquaponic system and uh, hopefully keep the bottom from bowing out. Uh, so that's the general idea. Next up is to build the legs uh, which will be mounted to the side here um, coming coming up this way which is the bottom and I'm going to put some feet on them as well so it's stable. Um, my fish tank is 24 inches uh, across, so everything should fit nicely inside of there. 
So uh, I'll be, you know, building that next. So here's what the whole setup looks like uh, upside down currently because I'm still trying to figure out how I want to position the legs, um, how much space I want underneath the tank because I want to put it on rollers so I can easily move it in and out. Um, also, you know, how much space do I need above the tank uh, so that I can feed the fish and access them. If, although if it's on rollers, that may not be an issue. Uh, I may just be able to slide the tank uh, given the flexibility of the tubing I'm using. So anyway, there is uh, what it's going to look like when it's done. I think the next time you're going to see it, it's in my apartment when I am going to be doing the plumbing. And also maybe finishing it. I may finish it up here uh, just in terms of giving it stain so it matches some of the other wood in my house. Anyway, so that's it.